So if you have a Chevrolet or GMC with the P0014 code, I thought I'd go over the causes of this and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0014 code? Well, it's a camshaft position B, timing over advanced or system performance, bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's different components that control the timing of the engine and can also adjust the timing of the engine and different things like this. You're going to have the timing chain or timing belt that's going to match up the camshaft and the crankshaft together. You're going to have a camshaft position sensor, which the computer uses to watch all this and to monitor it. And modern cars are also going to have what's called variable valve timing, which basically can adjust the timing of the engine as it's running. And this is very beneficial. It can help the engine perform better at higher RPMs. It could also help the engine get better fuel economy and different things like this. And when you get a P0014 code, the computer's seeing an issue inside of one of these things. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted in a Y. And the B inside the code is going to point to the exhaust side of the engine. So if you have a four-cylinder engine, you just find the exhaust side of the engine. And that's going to be the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a V6 or a V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. The opposite of that would be bank two. And the camshaft position sensor on the exhaust side of bank one is the sensor that's reporting back to the computer that there's an issue going on. And so that would be the side of the engine to check out. And so what are some possible causes of a P0014 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty engine oil because engine oil is flowing through that variable valve timing. And if the oil is low or if it's dirty or something like this, then it could clog everything up and just cause issues. So the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty engine oil. The next thing that could cause this is a bad variable valve timing solenoid. And these basically slide in and out. They'll have a wiring harness going to them. And usually they're held in by one bolt. And if one of these goes bad, then it's going to cause issues. And again, this is going to be on the exhaust side. So if you find the exhaust variable valve timing solenoid, that's going to be the one to go and check out. Also keep in mind that if there's anything wrong with the wiring going to the solenoid, like an open short, something along these lines, then it's going to cause the same problems as a bad solenoid. So be sure to keep that in mind. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the actuator, also called the phaser sometimes. And basically, this is what the timing chain or timing belt is riding on. And this works with that variable valve timing solenoid to adjust the timing. And so it's going to have oil running through it and different things like this. And if there's some kind of issue with it, then it's going to cause problems. But the next thing on the list is going to be that variable valve timing actuator, also called the phaser. And the next thing that could cause this problem is that there's some kind of issue going on with the timing chain or timing belt. And basically, there's timing marks on these, and everything needs to line up. And if for some reason, this timing chain slips a notch, then it's going to cause problems. It's going to throw everything off and just cause issues. Also, what can happen is that that timing chain just gets old with age. And when that happens, they could stretch out and just be really loose. And so it's just throwing everything off when the engine's running. So the next thing on the list is going to be a bad timing chain or timing belt. Also, keep in mind that if the timing chain tensioner that holds the chain tight, if it has some kind of issues, if it's not holding the chain tight, then that chain can also get loose and start throwing everything off. So another thing that could cause this is a bad timing chain tensioner. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And usually when one of these go bad, you're going to get other codes. But it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with it. And it's just starting to fail or something like that. So it's reporting bad information back to the computer or something along these lines. But like I said, usually if you have a bad camshaft position sensor, you're going to get other codes. And so if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Chevrolet or GMC with the P0014 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.